while we detangle hair, um, let's just catch up. So we went to the beach. It was great. Do you see this tan? It's, it's, it eats. It's it's fabulous. Oh, gosh, I love a natural tan. Um, we had a grand old time at the beach. If you guys are ever wanting to go to the beach, I highly, highly suggest checking out Hotel Effie. It was so good. This is still the best $5.99, $4.99 I've ever spent in my life, okay? Before we left to go on the trip, I went on, I'm not calling it a day. I'm going to call it like a meetup with um, this guy. Now, this this particular guy is walking red flags, right? Walking red flags. But I think I could use him to, like, get me back out there in the dating world. Like, I immediately was like, all right, I ain't going to marry this man. Like, this is not going to be my husband. But I need to, like, get back acquainted with being in the presence of men because I have just not been for so long. Like, I haven't even dealt with them, talked to them, nothing of that nature. So I'm going to use him to, like, get myself back acquainted with dealing with a man. And with him being semi-trifling, I feel like it's great practice, honestly, because he's not necessarily, like, a great guy. Like, I wouldn't say he's a great guy at all. But he wants to hang out again. This is this is why I know this is my man, right? Let me, let me go back. Okay, so, like, we got each other's number. We're talking on the phone or whatever. He has, um... He has a job, he has a career, he's um, some type of manager. He has a child, um, you know, I can't I can't pitch my fit about children no more because everybody my age got children. He's got a child. He, uh, he told me that he was divorced. Um, he told me he had been divorced for a month and I was like, damn, like, how you feel? Like, do you even want to be back out here? Because me personally, I feel like I would be devastated like a month after my divorce. I feel like I would be devastated. So basically, um, we we plan to like go out because we did have like he held a nice conversation. So I did say, OK, we can still meet. But right off the rip, like we talked about what exactly we wanted, like what were we looking for? And I told him I was looking for a relationship. And he told me he was looking for a friend. And I said, okay. Now, in the past, like, somebody would have, a man would have told me this. I would have been like, oh, yeah, I'm going to change his mind, blah, 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 blah. Uh, now, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to change your mind. Like, you're looking for a friend. And I literally told him because he was like, well, how do you feel about that? And I was like, well, we're looking for two separate things. So, I don't think there would ever be, like, a opportunity where I'm taking this extremely serious because I'm looking for a relationship. I want to be in a relationship. Like, I want my man. I don't want a man. Ooh, that was a bar. So, we didn't really hang out for a long time, which is why I said I wouldn't call it a date. It was, like, a really, like, quick, um, it wasn't quick. I mean, we was there for an hour. We went to the cigar bar. We were there for an hour. Um, but it was vibing. We had, like, decent conversation there. Um, of course, he thought I was, like, hot as hell. And I was like, great. Like, I love when men think you're attractive. Because, you know, they be acting weird. Uh, we talked about his life. And in talking about his life, I discovered that this man is not divorced. <gasps> he is separated. They have been separated for a month. And so, you know, second red flag. So I was like, yeah, this like, I'm not putting any effort into this man at all. Like, I'm really just here for the vibes. Like, you want to go out to eat? Cool. You want to just be sitting with somebody who's cute? Cool. Like, I can do that but you know you're not i'm not giving up no ass i'm so sorry and he really think he's gonna get some ass y'all because he's like we talked about just how long it's been like since we've been with somebody and so like i'm thinking he's gonna say it's been a minute for him uh no he did not this man said oh i just i just had some last weekend <laughs> last weekend and i'm like and you think i'm gonna give you some like you actively telling me you out here having sex with girls Sir, you're you're not gonna have the opportunity to do anything with me, and I'm so sorry. But you've already one like I've already told you what I'm looking for. You're not looking for that. 
<laughs> okay, so now what I'm about to go do is wash my clothes from the beach. I'm literally just going to empty my suitcase into the washing machine and get that started. Um, I was supposed to have a video go up yesterday that I did not. I thought I had like scheduled it and uploaded it to YouTube. I didn't. When I got back home last night and I was looking to see like if I had any new comments because I didn't vlog at the beach. I didn't do I did take a couple photos and videos, but it was like literally nothing to share um at all. It was it was nothing to share. I might pull some content together from um my best friend. Her sister took a lot of content. So I might use some of her stuff and try to put something together. Maybe for a short. Because I need to post a short. Because I want to monetize my YouTube. And I have to have... Well, well y'all know. Y'all can look it up. You got to have so many views. So many subscribers. Or so many... So many viewing hours. So many subscribers. And... Um, a viral short or something like that to that nature I'm doing a bad job at trying to monetize it but I'm I'm on it like I'm finna get on it I'm finna get on it right. okay guys hair is washed and detangled and deep conditioned um it's still really damp right now but I'm running to the gym how much gas do I have I'm hoping I got enough to make it to the gym. Cause the light definitely popped on. I didn't, we did not stop and get, I do not have enough to make it to the gym. I'm gonna go to Sam's. Do I have my Sam's card? I think that's what this is. Yeah. We did not have, um, we did not stop and get gas yesterday. We came immediately home. We was tired. Um, yes, I am still on my gym journey. Um, I heard that when people ask you how's it going at the gym, you're supposed to be like, I'm still going because they're just trying to see um, if you're still going. Because when I get asked that question, I'm just like, what answer do you want me to say? Like, I always be like, it's going because it is. Is the gym my favorite time? No, it's not. I would rather lay in bed and get like a massage or like watch TV honestly but I mean like it's not awful either I enjoy going to the gym because I keep going but it's definitely not like oh man I can't wait to get to the gym but I've just always been so confused when people ask you that because what also today is my first time ever using my Stanley Cup without a straw I really don't know how I feel about it um the water kind of doesn't like flow like, I don't know, when I use my, um, oh, I got the windows down. Y'all probably can't hear. You probably can hear a damn thing I said. When I use my Awala cup and I do the free sip, it, like, flows. This water, I feel like I'm, while I'm, like, drinking it, it's weird. Oh, I'm going to Sam's. I was going to go the wrong way. Let me turn my lights on. Whew, but, yes, I'm still on my gym journey. I'm still going. Um, Yeah. I do hate when I miss the gym now, so I would say that is an an update because um, I used to just be like, "Oh, I'm going to the gym," but I don't. I do hate when I miss the gym now. It has become a part of my routine, and I hate when we can't do it like you know perfectly how we want to. Because sometimes we can't get to three days, but I do think that I am about to start working out once every day just because like I got some goals that I feel like I should have hit by now my battery's about to die I'm going to the gym I'm thinking about um working out once every day instead of just two to three times a week so I'll let you guys know how that goes my camera is dying um you're not going to hear from me again until probably tomorrow because I'm not cooking dinner tonight I should be going to the grocery store and shit tomorrow to prepare a meal we'll see but time time will tell peace y'all Opinion. Um, but we're going to try Scent Hound. Scent Hound is a place with subscriptions for you to wash your dog. I just found all this out like yesterday because I was trying to like get Kodak in to get a bath. Hold on, let me crack this one up for him. He be acting like it's the end of the world. I was trying to get somebody who can get Kodak in for a bath extremely quick just to bathe him. And Scent Hound has this thing where you pay $35 a month. And that's one bath a month. And in that bath, they brush teeth, they clean the ears, they clip the claws, 
and um something else but it's a towel dry it is in a towel dry which makes sense as to why this shit is 35 dollars a month hey y'all i just picked kodak up well we just got home what we think fluffy sit down so the people can see you sit down sit sit he being defiant now sit down kodak Sit down. I'm trying to get a, a good picture of him for the vlog. Sit. Like, what is this? You telling me no? Come here. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Sometimes he be needs sign language. Okay, what do we think, guys? I think it looks good. Now, this was $85 and not $65 like we thought. Actually, $95. It was $85 because we got $10 off for our first time. I do like them. But $95 for not a cut is insane. PetSmart cuts be like $122. Like, I mean, I don't know. Montgomery. Um, I'm in a cookbook club with one of my friends and we take turns cooking a meal and making drinks. This um, time it's at her house so she's cooking the meal and I'll make drinks and then since her birthday is tomorrow we're gonna like go out like very lightly like not like a heavy like go out. She's not one of those people that I be out with all night. Sometimes. Sometimes we be out all night. Sometimes we don't be out all night. I really don't know. It just depends on how the drink making goes. And since I'm responsible for making the drinks, I have a heavy, heavy hand. So I also need to go through my Instagram messages and pick out what drink I'm going to make because I need to go to the store to get um, the stuff. I wanted to do like a lychee something and I need to go to the Asian market to get the lychee shit because that's, that's where I know for sure the lychee is at. So we'll see. We'll see on that. Um, I do kind of, I wonder if it's going to rain today. I need to take Cody to the park because he he's bored. He wants something to do real bad. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not too bad. So I might get, what the hell going on up here? Anyway, um, I might go to the dog park. We call it like pick him up, run to the dog park so he can run around. But also it's early. He ain't going to want to do that. It's 8.36. He he gonna be acting like he tired, but I I'll see I'll see because he y'all know that dog got a mind of his own. So um do that. Go to Montgomery. Uh, what else I need to do? I think that's it today. Um yeah that's it. Tomorrow we're celebrating my mom's birthday, so we're going to um Bright Star in um Bessemer. I haven't been in a long time. Um, I'm, I'm expecting it to be good. Everybody knows it's good food. I'm just expecting it to be like some good old southern country food. That's what I'm looking forward to. I got the lychee for my drink. I have to find me some elderberry, elderberry liquor and um, lemon juice. And I low-key want to get some cute cups. So I might stop by Walmart. But I'm going to do all that when I get in Montgomery. Because right now I'm in Vestavia and it's 5 o'clock on the dot. So traffic, I'm sure, is about to get crazy. I'm already a little bit down 65, so I'm not too worried. But I need to hurry up and, like, get there before I do anything. But we're doing great on time. Montgomery is not two hours away. And I've given myself two hours to be there. Um, I haven't eaten today. Well, I had breakfast, but I haven't eaten, like, uh, anything since breakfast. since like, 10 o'clock this morning. So I'm at McDonald's getting me, like, a little something, something. Well, well, to McDonald's getting warm on. Okay. I had McDonald's getting me a little something, something for the road, and then um, we'll be on the way. I'm excited about this dream. I hope she got a blender. I'm sure she got a blender. She got a house. I'm sure she got a blender. If not, I mean, we can drink a shake, and I don't really care. It'll it'll be good, however. But I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay, I'll see y'all. to Montgomery I've been driving around for like <laughs> I've been driving around for like an hour 
looking for elderflower <laughs> liqueur in Montgomery. I just made it to my friend's house. Um, I went to a whole bunch of stores that I wasn't supposed to go to, but that's okay. I went to Target to get these cute cups. I got two of them. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm looking for St. Germain elderflower liqueur. They didn't have none. So we're going to uh, substitute with triple set. Hopefully it comes out right. I won't know because I haven't had it the original way. <laughs> some lemon juice um, from the store because that's supposed to go in there. And the only sweetener that goes is in this drink is from the syrup. So, yeah. Um, Kaylin's almost done cooking. It smells really good in here. Oh, she's not almost done. I'm lying. It just smells good in here. It smells like she's almost done cooking. It took me forever to get here. Damn, St. Germain. It's nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. All right, so I'll be back to show y'all our drinks and the food. Like I'm surprised. That's role play. I wear the skies. I want you to park that big Mack truck right in the middle of a bar. Make it scream. Make me scream. I don't get public. Make the scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got this ring. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down inside of me. Quick jump out for you. Let it get inside of me. I tell them where to put it. Never tell them where I'm about to be. I run down on them before I have a nigga running me. Talk your shit. Bite your lip. Ass on car while you ride that dick. You really ain't never got him fucking for a thing. He already made his mind up. Boy, can't not get your boots. Hang your pole for this wet ass pussy. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass pussy. Now make it rain if you wanna see some wet ass pussy. Look, I need a hard hit, I need a deep stroke, I need a handy trick, I need a weed smoke. Not a car snake, I need a king cobra with a hook in it. Hope it lean over. He got some money, then that's where I'm headed. But he ain't one, just like a spreading. He got a beard, and I'm trying to cut it. I let him kiss my daddy. I don't wanna speak, I wanna go, I wanna eat gag. I want you to touch that little jangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. My head can inspire, but I need the sun. He's going and trying, just coming out slaggy. I'm running at the end of the cousin behind me. I spit on his mic and I hit trying to sign me. Your Honor, I'm a freak bitch. Handcuffs, leash it. Switch my wig, make him feel like a cheat tan. Put him on his knees, give him something to believe in. Never lost a fight, but I'm looking for a beat. In the food chain, I'm a winner, eat shit. If you ate my ass, he's a bottom feeder. Big beast, can't be big demeanor. I can make you bust before I ever meet you. If it don't hang, then it can't bang. You can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. If you fuck me and ask who's it. Okay, sorry. I need to take my vitamins today. What I want to tell y'all. Today's 420, so you already know the vibes. Um, get ready to go to my mom's birthday dinner. We're so high we lost track of time. Let me hold on, let me see if that's the quote. Cause that's what I want to post on Twitter. It's Beyonce. It's it's damn. Work, eyes, work. Work, eyes. Two most wanted. Shh. We're not getting copyrighted by Miss Beyonce. We're getting high till we realize that time is passing by. Um, that's that's how high I am. And now it is 417. We have to leave the house at 5. The place is in Bessemer. We live in Trustful. Y'all know how this goes. So I will be back to show y'all the outfit because I'm not going to have time to film. Quick update. I've showered. I've brushed my teeth. This is Yana Morgan. Um, we're about to take our gummy right now. Thank you. Hold on. Let me get a boomerang for my Instagram, too. I think I want to. Okay. Come on. How they kind of time? Damn, yours broke. Yeah, it's okay. Put it in front of this so I can get that in the background. What am I going to do? No. Come over. Okay, I'm going to that. One, two, three. And then cheers. Know. Cheers to y'all. All right, now I got to finish getting ready. Okay, we're done. I'm going to put... Okay, I'm coming. I'm going to put the Fenty Fuchsia Pink on top of this. Um, this is all straight powder. I'm hoping it lasts me throughout the night. I should fill in my brow a little bit, but I'm not. I'm going to take my hair down in the car, but this is it. Let me show y'all the look. Because we are... I'm course, of course, I'm late. Of course, it's me. I think I got everything else I need. Oh, I don't. I was finna forget. Take this clip out. Y'all, we're moving. I was forget about to forget the main part. The one size. Oh, okay. This is the outfit. That's it. That's it. I'm about to get in the car because they're y'all hear them. They calling me. I'll talk to y'all when we get. Uh oh. 
I'll talk to y'all when we get to the restaurant. All right, we've made it to Bright Star. We're walking. We had to park down the street. I'm so thirsty. I need like a Coca-Cola immediately, ASAP. You think your name number get back? I hope so. Now we're here. We should have let him go by himself. We had a reservation at six. We're waiting right now. It's not been too long. I almost dropped out. Oh, he got him, y'all. He put him on his head. He's fat.